Hello, my name is Josh. I'm one of your Huron Clinton Metro Parks interpreters, and I work here at Indian Springs Metro Park. We're going to start a three video series about observations and questions. In this first video, we'll learn about what an observation is and how you can make observations of your own. In the next video, we'll talk about how we can use our observations to ask a scientific question, as well as what makes a question scientific. And in the last video, we'll learn about the three different kinds of scientific questions that exist, how you can tell them apart, and when you would use each kind. So for observations, we want to make sure they're things that are based on our five senses, sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. For safety reasons, we're not going to worry about our sense of taste in this series, but the reason we have our observations based on our five senses is because we can make observations of ourselves, we can communicate them to other people, and then other people can use their own senses to agree or disagree with the observation. This is really important because the most important thing that scientists do is communicate their results to other people and see if they are agreed or disagreed with. Things that are observations would be things like this turtle is green, this turtle is soft. If I were to say this turtle is really cool, I feel that way, but you might disagree. And there's no real true answer because it's just based on how we feel. So we're going to practice using some observations. And to make these observations, everyone should find one object. It can be something you know what it is. It could be something totally new to you. This activity is called I Notice, I Wonder, It Reminds Me Of. We're going to do three different rounds of making statements about an object that you found. And in each round, we're going to start our statement with different words. For the first round, we're going to start all of our observations about this object with the words I notice. You should be making some observations using your senses about your object. For instance, I notice that this rock has red spots in it. I notice that this rock is really heavy. Things like that. So go ahead, take a minute or two, and make some observations about your object. And please do say your I notice is out loud. I know it'll feel kind of funny at first, but it'll make you slow down a bit, and you might notice some things that you wouldn't have otherwise. So pause this video, take a minute or two, and then start the video again once you're done. This time, we're going to ask some questions about our object. And we're going to do this by starting our statements with the words, I wonder. And think about the things that you noticed when you're trying to come up with things to wonder about. For instance, I wonder how much this rock weighs. I wonder how heavy it is. I wonder if I could get the red spots out of the rest of the rock somehow. Go ahead, take a minute or two, and make some I wonder statements about your object. And finally, we are going to think of some things that our object reminds us of. Our statements this round are going to start with the words, it reminds me of. So this rock reminds me of a chocolate chip cookie because it's got the red spots inside of a larger rock. It reminds me of Christmas lights because it's got the small red spots. Your it reminds me of don't have to be things that are super serious, just anything that your object reminds you of. Take a minute or two, think of some things that your object reminds you of, and then restart the video. Hopefully this video helped you practice your skills of observation and learn how to use your senses to make a good observation for scientific purposes. And remember, this is a really important even foundational scientific skill. 
people in the past with just a good sense of observation and a good way of figuring out what they were looking at have changed human history plenty of times. Who knows, one day you might do the same thing. Thank you for joining us in this video and please join us next time where we'll talk about what makes a question scientific and practice using our I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of activity to ask a scientific question. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.